ケルディアスさんにスポットを当てたいと思いますはい、えー、いつもね画面の脇の方にこう映ってる方ですけれども、うん、トレーナーあるいはカットマンとして有名なミゲルディアスさんですあの小泉さんかなりお親しいそうでずいぶん長い付き合いだったんですねそうですねまあ一番最初にあったのはですねまあ畑中清選手がペドロ・デシマからタイトルを取った時、はい、まあデシマサイドのマネージャー兼トレーナーだったんですねあそこで名古屋だったんですけどそれ以降、はい、まああのー、ラスベガスでですねやっぱスケートトレーナーって言いますけどまあセコンドうまいんですよね,ね選手盛り立ててですね乗せてしまうんですよ昔なんかアルゼンチン出身なんですけどまあラジオのディスクジョッキーみたいなのやってたらしいんですねだからまあそれとは違うんでしょうけど演技がうまいんですね、はい、SOS って,ってその通りってマスペングザッチってそ,それをするとね選手乗ってくるんですよそれで盛り立てて盛り立てて勝つ入れてそれで勝てない試合でも勝たせてしまうんですね、はあ、そ,うですかいやその点は本当役者ですよ<笑>、えー、さあどんな話が聞けますか早速そのミエル・ディアスさんのインタビューをご覧いただきたいと思いますどうぞ Mr. Diaz, thanks for coming in for the interview today. We appreciate it. My pleasure. My pleasure. Please have a seat. Thank you. How did you get started as a, a trainer and a cut man? Well,、uh, in Los Angeles, I was working on a station called、uh, Univision, a Spanish international network. And、uh, through my job in the television station, I met a fighter by the name Gonzalez. Who at that particular time he was not a champion of the world. And I started working with him with a trainer by the name of Al and、uh, helping him in the training, helping him in the corner, but really into a, a, into a training fighters and, and、uh, working in the corner of the match. I started in,、uh, in, Las, in Las Vegas in 1974. How do you train? Each individual styles? Well, each individual, you just said, you just mentioned the magic word, individual. Each individual is different. That's why you don't try to change a fighter. If it's a brawler, keep it as a brawler. If it's a boxer, keep it as a boxer. All, you think, all you, the things you do is just to add a little bit for what they have. If they are left hand fighters, like they only use the left hand, I will try to give it a little right hand. If you use it two, three times during the fight, it's a big plus because before you only use the left the whole fight.、Uh, you never change a fighter. And I, I, you know, I, I'll, I'll let the fighter, I'll let the fighter、uh, not dictate the, the training. I'm a kind of old timer where the trainers tell the fighters what to do. But today it's a new, it's a new era, it's a new. Different kind of fighters, a different kind of trainers, a different kind of manager. The business c h a n g e You can be not that strict like they used to be. What you have to do is create a bond. When you create a bond, the fighter b e l i e v e in what you tell them to do. And that's where the best thing h a p p e n When the fighter and the, and the、uh, trainer create that kind of bond, that kind of a relationship, that the fighter knows that you're for real. You've trained. Fighters from around the world and、um, obviously Japanese. Is there a, a different technique or perspective that you take for a Japanese fighter? Yeah, the Japanese fighters are very, uh, uh, when they fight, they are very hard. They are fighting with their heart. And、uh, you have to actually slow them down a little bit.、Uh, don't put too much power in every punch. Don't put too much emphasis in your, in your、uh, work. Don't, work. don't overwork yourself. Because you can overwork yourself. No work is no good, but、uh, work too much is no good neither. That's why you have to balance that kind of a、uh, situation. And that's the, the difference between the Japanese fighters and、uh, the, I'll say, American fighters, Mexican fighters. They are more on the lazy side than the Japanese fighters, at least the one that I train.、Um, Uichi Kasai, Shiro Yahiro. They're always there to work. They're always in time to come to run. They always give you an extra run. They always give you an extra lap in the track in the morning. They're really,、uh, their desire is to be a champion of the world, you know. Some of them obviously are, are interested in maybe being a cut man or a trainer. 
do you have any uh, advice for them? Well, first of all, uh, to be a trainer, uh, I recommend it, uh, to do all the, all the things that you do in boxing, to fight, uh, to realize what the fighters go through, through the, during the fight, you know. And for the cat men, uh, practice. You, you have to learn from the, from the guys the way I did with the old timers, like Eddie Aliano. There's a lot of different things that we cannot synthesize in, in one minute, but the most important thing is to have a common sense. えー、浜田さんもね、はいえー、何度か目にかかって、えー、言葉も交わしてると思いますけどどういうい今,、うんまあ、今のインタビューを聞くとやっぱり選手の調子を生かすと、えー、選手の持ち味を生かすというのはやっぱこれはあのー、一番大事なことだなという,ふうに思いますよね、まああのー、やっぱり、えーまあ、日本選手トレーニングしすぎるというところがありますが、はい、常に形に決めたがるところがあるわけですよね。それを選手の持ち味をどんどん伸び伸びさせるというふうに今、感じたんですけど、ええ、やっぱりそれは大事でしょうね、はい、小泉さん、まだまだあの多くの素晴らしい選手を作り上げそうですね、そうですねまあ、彼が行ってた中で特に大事なのはです、ねええ、選手と間に信頼関係を築くことだと、ええ、昔のトレーナーと選手というのはです、ね、命令と服従だったんです、ええ、今はです、ね、命令じゃないんですよ、アドバイスなんです。で選手の方が歩み寄ってそのアドバイスを消化しようという気持ちを引き出さないといけないんです、はい、モーティベーションですよね、えー、やる気っていうのを引き出す、それが今の時代のいいトレーナー、ミゲル・ディエス氏はそのことを語ってましたよね、はい、なかなか好評な番組になってまいりました、えー、ボクシングニュースパート2、ご覧いただきました。